Happy Hump Day, everybody. I'm Dave Morris. Thanks for clicking on the play. Today, we'll preview a few stories you can find in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and right here on this very website, newsok.com. Attorneys for Sooner linebacker Frank Shannon and the University of Oklahoma met at the state Supreme Court on Wednesday. A referee from the high court heard arguments for both sides and will determine whether the court will accept the case. Shannon was suspended from school and the football team for violating the school's Title IX sexual misconduct policy. After several appeals, the case has landed at the state Supreme Court. The proceedings were closed to the public and reporters, but Frank Shannon's attorney made a brief statement following the discussions. We have agreed, uh, the attorneys for Franklin Shannon, that we will keep this matter confidential as we have striven to do during this entire matter. But if we see um, more press discussion of this matter in the, in the papers or in the news press by the university, we are going to ask the court to unseal the record so that my client will be able to vindicate himself. And it's a story Jason Kersey and Ryan Aber have been following for several weeks. They will have more information about the discussions and the case in upcoming editions of The Oklahoma. The classic image of guards manning posts atop prison walls with rifles may soon disappear in Oklahoma. The DOC has circulated a memo to wardens asking their input on whether or not the department should staff the guard towers that surround prison yards. It's in an attempt to put more guards inside units as inmate numbers rise. And it's a story our Graham Brewer is working on. Um, really, I think the people that most want to see the towers stay uh, in use are the guards who patrol the yards, and um, rely on um, the, I guess, the safety that they feel knowing that there's a guard up there in the tower with a, with a gun that can protect them if need be. Thank you, Graham Brewer. A statewide teacher shortage has districts scrambling to fill vacancy. A survey by the Oklahoma State School Board Association reveals that more than 800 vacancies exist, and they're being filled by teachers who may be unqualified to teach their grade and subject level. According to our education reporter, Tim Willard, Oklahoma City Public Schools is covering 80 vacancies with subs and has filled and has filled a host of other spots with retirees and recent college graduates working towards certification. For the first time in many years, a plan is coming together that will determine who will pay for any catastrophic damage to the underground tunnels downtown. Even with the new agreement between city and the Business Improvement District downtown, no one is stepping forward to claim ownership. The Oklahoma Steve Lackmire is following the story. He'll have more information in upcoming editions of The Oklahoma. And Love's Travel Stops continues to expand its network of compressed natural gas fueling stations for heavy-duty trucks and passenger vehicles. The Oklahoma City-based company is opening its newest CNG station on Wednesday in Dallas near I-20 and I-35. The new fueling station means Love's now has six locations of the fast fill CNG and the convenience store chain plans to open more in the upcoming months. Told you, lots of stories and information headed your way in future editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Have a great Wednesday evening, everyone.